to go. So anyway, exciting game promising here tonight. Only two weeks ago ago that we last met. Um, what do you see being is the key issues of for tonight's game? Well, first and foremost, it's a rivalry brewing from years and years ago. You know, not too far away from each other geographically is one thing, but, you know, obviously Worcester Wolves getting that massive, massive BBL Cup win under this building two weeks ago, and the Leicester Riders will want to inflict some revenge in it tonight. Absolutely. I guess, um, although played as recently as those two weeks, teams are quite different tonight. Riders obviously adding two guards into their backcourt. And the Worcester Wolves, short of a couple of important players for them, Amir Williams and Kofi Josephs. So we'll see how it goes. And a nice early bucket for Nelson Henry there for well, two. Nelson Henry, the biggest player on court at the moment. He took full advantage of that. This is an interesting matchup. And Jordan Williams knocks it in. I guess that was um, one of the key aspects. I think that, that um, Wolves exploited that post presence um, in that win two weeks ago. Um, and we'll see how riders have uh, adapted to that. But Williams gets the line with a, their first possession. Well, anyone who watched that BBL Cup fixture would know Jordan Williams <laughs> did havoc or wreaked havoc to that Leicester Riders defence. He had 15 points at half time and he was an absolute brute down low. And he started this uh, game with the same intent. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll keep an arm on the gaps. Again, riders and offensive foul called. Didn't see much there, but... Um... Well, Jamel Anderson set that cross screen across the key there, and the referee deemed uh, that he was still moving, so pick up that early foul. So do you think, how do you think the, the absence of Amir Williams and Kofi Josephs may affect the Wolves? Wow, there's two key players. Cozy Jokes just give you so much more space because he shoots the three so well. Yes. And you have to honour his shot. And then Amir Williams, he's a walking double-double. 20 points, 12 rebounds a game. He's an absolute handful down low. So the Worcester Wolves are going to have to play a really good game here to compete Jordan, with his Leicester Riders team. Jordan Williams again going too early in doors. Not quite successful there. Cartwright again looks inside. Intercepted. Wolves have it. Push the ball. Edwards. Handles, drops it off inside, and I think that's a foul called on Jesse Chuku. Well, good challenge there from Jesse Chuku. Leicester Riders line up a big at the moment with Chuku, 6'10", and Nelson Henry, another 6'10", 6'11", and he's challenged a shot of Hughes there, and he looked good for a block, but the referee has, has said there's too much contact there. And Hughes was another player as well. It was really big, made some really big shots in that BBL Cup fixture. Yeah, really, really played well, as, as, as most of the Wolves did two weeks ago. They did, yeah, they did indeed, and I think for all the all-star performances they have, for me, Cortez Edwards was the, 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 the super, superstar for them. I felt like he orchestrated the whole offense, and he was just an absolute, you know, made the right plays at the right time. He was, he was incredible. So, riders, um, unusually for the, um, under the coach, Padre Nostro, um, lost the last four games what do you think we're going to be looking for them to to try and put right tonight strong move from car right well there's one of them marcus is <laughs> attacking the rim and getting higher percentage shots as well they haven't been shooting the three particularly well and you know especially when you're not playing well you, know, you really want to look for those easier close to the range shot you know baskets absolutely another foul called on the riders so three quick whistles against the riders well unless the riders are a team as well you know, one of the best defensive records in the league but one of the the, the best in terms of fouls against as well they, they don't commit any silly foul many silly fouls and, yeah you know they're, it's a really good points against the foul ratio but three early ones from here tonight mark good hands on name on right nearly comes up with the inception there you go three point bucket wow and played exceptionally well we were talking pre-game about how we were both impressed Akovic. Jesse wide open, top of the key, with the three-pointer. That's good to see that ball go down. Jesse's struggling a little bit recently, but it's good to see the uh, the ball go through the net on his first attempt. Well, he's a big guy that can shoot the three, and like you said, Mark, that, that early make can get that confidence going for Absolutely. the middle of the game. Again, in the post, looking to work off. Made Thompson a little short. Rise have it, and pushing the ball. Cartwright. Looks to get inside. 
Looks to drop it off. Interception. Great defensive name on right. And nice quick assist. Nelson Henry. Well, great anticipation there from Neymar Wright to get the steal, and then Cartwright wasn't making the same mistake twice. Greatly, <laughs> you know, great weighted pass there for Nelson Henry for the easy two. Edwards under pressure. Jamal. Good defense again from Anderson. Edwards. Shot clock burning down low. Not All a good right. offense there from Worcester. Ball very stagnant, ball didn't move around. Leicester Riders defense found that quite easily to deal with. Go inside. Chuku looks to back his man down. Mismatch inside across the plane. In the corner, Anderson. And first whistle of the night. Puts Jamal on the line. He will be shooting three. Good kick out there from Jesse Chuku. Jamal Anderson, someone who's had some really good you know making percentage there from those corner threes and he found himself open and he concentrated on the shot and got hit on the arm so he gets a shot chance to shoot threes now from the free throw line he likes shooting from that corner three he uh, does good does. good spacing and i guess if you're attacking the paint kind of fill, fill the spots on the floor and be available well what jamal danson does he's He's, he's part machine, I think, Mark, because he runs the floor extremely well. He doesn't get tired. And like, when he runs the floor, he, he runs straight to that corner. So he's beaten a lot of the defenders already down. He's already set. So that training person then runs into the key yes. to, to occupy those defenders. And Jamal Anderson will often find himself open on the corner. So riding on defense. Williams handling the ball a little. Hughes wide open. Rebound by Jesse. Big board. Cartwright pushing the ball. Hesitation. Change of pace. Nice attack. And now come the guns early. Really big finish there from Cartwright. Good footwork as well to maintain his balance yeah. and strength. Good finish. So Riders out to a nice early lead. 14 to 6. Early doors. Hughes. Raheem Thompson, out it goes. Gets Cartwright in the air, goes for the fake, calls a foul, put him on the line, shooting two. Walk neck, very clever play there, used that pump fake to get the defender in the air and was able to follow through and get the contact to go. Okay, into the ball game for the first time at home, Corey Johnson. Recently signed. That'll be the first chance for the Riders fans to see him in, in, in live action anyway. So there's always uh, one of those occasions as well. There's a new player coming in. You always want to play well, you know, the first time you play in front of the home crowd. And Absolutely. Hopefully his adrenaline and his energy will be high tonight for, yep. for the Riders. We know he's a, a guy of high IQ. Went to, went to Harvard, of course. So mm -hmm. um, certainly brighter than me. <laughs> no, no question. Cartwright again attacking the middle. Nice. Wow. Up and under. Great move there from Tyron Cartwright. Reverse all the way through the other side of the basket. Soft finish off the glass. Williams attacks into the paint. Strong move. Good hands by Cartwright. He's handling in an open court. He stops. Not quite. And eventually pulled in. Lane is open. Cartwright attacks again. Not quite getting the roll. What's the Wolves defense? Did good to contest that and put Cartwright off the shot. With the floater again. What next? Great finish. It looks very smooth, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Over a contested arms too. Nice finish. Chuku. Cartwright. Round it. Johnson down low inside. Andy Thompson out he goes. Gets it back. Turn around. Fade away. Rattles in and out. Oh, Andy Thompson had to shoot that ball. Only two seconds left on the shot clock. But almost got it to go. Edwards. Out he goes. Edwards again. Tacks the middle. Flips it up. And is good. Another tough finish inside. Cortez Edwards over the trees. Oh, 
Anderson. Shuku. Johnson. Andy Thompson from deep. And he makes the three ball. That right. is so tough to stop, Mark. To, you know, you've got a 6'10 guy outside in the wing there. It was a contested shot as well by Jordan Williams, but Andrew Thompson, nothing but that. Yeah, 6 foot 10 stretch, stretch player, stretch forward. How many threes are you making in your career? <laughs> well, I can count them on this hand. <laughs> Anderson has it. Chuku wide open. Back to back threes. That's his second of the night. Right, his third of the evening. And that's another six foot ten big body been able to shoot from outside. Jesse Chuku, good start for him from beyond the three point line. And the game certainly changed, isn't it? The, the, the kind of more flexibility. Nobody's kind of a one position mm -hmm. player. Um, You're right. Posi positions are a lot more sort of merged, aren't they, and intertwined. Where yeah. before you'd have your traditional one through five. Right, but yeah. Now you've got guys. Well, Jamel Anderson to an extent, you know, he could play literally one through five. Yeah. yeah Drew Sullivan as well. He was some of, one of those players that could play one through five. And you've got, you know, I think the, the new players now as well. No one's being pigeonholed into particular positions. Yeah. I would have been in big trouble in the modern game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess back in the day. I guess you were never encouraged to develop a three-point shot. <laughs> no, They'd look at the size of you and think you're playing inside, so, <laughs> I guess. That's the way it went, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't dribble too good either, so <laughs> it was in and around the basket for me. Uh, okay, checking into the game for the first time with the Riders at home. It's Jordan Spencer. So recently played over in Germany. So again, a new recruit. So Riders' backcourt suddenly looks very strong. It does indeed, and I think, uh, well, they've had a lot of injuries this year, and I, I think the depth of that squad as well, they, they need, the, well, they feel that they need that, you know, that strong front, front court to, to mitigate against the missing bodies. Nice move. Name on right. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a guy that the need, runners need to get fired up. Offense um, has got all the talent in the world. Um, and Riders need to get him going, I think. He's a very good player, but he's Absolutely. It. Wow, Jordan Williams <laughs> high off the glass. Left-hand hook shot. Um, but Neymar White, you know, very good battle. But he's, he's had injuries as well this year. So, yeah. you know, when injuries come in, Mark, as well, yeah. you, it, it disrupts your flow, yes. your confidence, your mental psyche, as well as your physical well-being as well. It's uh, tough to come back from. Three-point and bonus. Wow. Great Johnson's shot. first basket in the Mordenside Arena happens to be a four-point play. So no. if that's a things, uh, signs of things to come, that's a, it's a very good omen. Absolutely. Nice way to start. Which forces coach Matt Newby to call a timeout. So, um, and, you know, teams and players do have dips in form. So Johnson looking to convert the extra point for the four-point play. And does it? The ride is 28 to 15. Wolves have possession. Edwards. The Wolves taking the time. Being patient again. Go to Williams. Defended by Andy Thompson. He looks to get into the paint. Ball goes round. Edwards puts one up. Big rebound by Neymon. Right. Neymon was scoring for that rebound. He's a great athlete. Jordan Spencer thought about it. <laughs> Running a play, Jordan. Stops. Not quite. Ball is loose. And it looks as though it's going to be a riders' possession. So a new 14 second clock. Well, there's a mismatch down low, though. You've got an Andrew Thompson 6 10 against Boutnet under there underneath the rim and you, you want to Jordan Spencer to see that there and try and lob that ball over to the big guy down low Anderson Thompson Spencer Andy Thompson looks to drive spins out it goes Johnson again with the three ball the second of the night right at the shot clock 
deadline. Undisciplined and unselfish basketball from the Leicester Riders there. Andrew Thompson, great find for the open Johnson, knocks down the three. Again, going to Williams down low. Across the paint, steps back. Unable to knock it down. Spencer has it. Knocked away by Edwards, but remains Riders' possession. 24 seconds left of the first quarter. Nice start by the Riders, up by 16. So 31 points in the first quarter. Offense flowing nicely. Anderson. Quick whistle against Panthers. That's his first. So Johnson to inbound this. Anderson has it. Knocked away. Remains Riders' possession. Spencer has it. Probes away. Anderson, quick attack of the paint. Off the glass. And doesn't quite get the front goal. No whistle. And if Thompson at the buzzer would be good if it goes. Ooh. Very, very close. Wants to be in that that BBL Cup final. It, it's incredible. It's a, it's a fun atmosphere. Um, it's uh, For me, it's one of the most prestigious trophies in, in the BBL. It's the first cup you can win as well for the season. So it really sets the tone, I think, for, for the rest of the season to come. And, and Worcester Wolves, deservedly, Absolutely. took that away from the Leicester Riders. Absolutely. So I guess that remains fresh in the memory for, for Riders, for most of the Riders players. Hughes. Good defence by Neiman Wright. Flips it up. Joseph, nice rebound. Spencer has it. Defensively as well, Mark, I think Riders have looked good. They've contested shots. They made things difficult for the Worcester Wolves as well. Looks a lot more of a collective effort. Nice fake there, Neiman. Good finish, strong at the basket. Very I clever. Very clever. He could have took that contested corner three there, but he was patient. He used that pump fake. Then he used it again inside. Very clever move from Neymar Wright. We have a whistle. That called on Chuko, we think. Yeah, so that's his... I think that's right. Yeah, that's about to be his second call. Uh, certainly got into foul trouble last week away at Bristol, which I think hurt the riders an awful lot. Um, coach having to rest him very early. Three in the corner. Well, Cortez Edwards is a player that can turn that on very, very quickly. Johnson handles. Chuku. Spencer. Looks to get inside. Flips it up. Edwards again. Great block. Wow. Spencer drops it off to Anderson. No call. But will be a Riders end line possession. Really good defensive effort there from Riders as well. The, the shot was blocked there, I think, finally by, by Jesse Chuku, but. It was contested by two other players as well. I'm sure I saw Corey Johnson's hand in there. Um, I mean, although Riders lost four games on the bounce, the de defence has held up pretty good. Um, aim on right, and we have a whistle. And it's another foul on a three-point shot. So he'll be going to the line, shooting three. So it's the second time in the game, Riders player fouled in the acts of 
a three-point shot. Newby, Coach Newby won't be happy with that. Neymar right, a 100% free throw shooter so far this season. In the regular season, excuse me. <laughs> and obviously, the BBL league game starting significantly later this year due to BBL Cup competition. I think that was one of the points that Coach Pazanastro stated about the league. Was really, the league's only just started, I think, 19 games to go. Um, I feel like there's, it feels like there's not a really dominant team this season. So I think it feels like it's still very competitive and all to play for. I think so, yeah. I think you're right. This, you know, One week, one team will show glimpses of, of being that championship caliber team and then yeah. they'll have a bad form. And you know, Sheffield's already showed that. Glasgow's had a little you know, glimmer. And then we see Worcester play incredibly well as well. A full-strength Worcester team as well. It's a very, very you know, difficult team to compete with. Name on right. Steps back for the three. Sweet as a nut. Name on right. It came to play tonight. Tough, looks, tough move. I just think it looks so smooth. You know who he reminds me of? Uh, 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 a rider's play. I just, I just, I just reminds me a little bit of Jay Cousinard. He was here a few years ago. Yes. Seems, I don't know what it is, but it just reminds me. We do a bit of everything. We have a three-point shot. Is good. I think we had a whistle. It was down low. I'm not sure who that was on. Foul called against Corey Joseph off the ball. Johnson rather off the ball. So is that the basket's good? Should be, yeah. Should be a good basket. And they they get possession. So score currently 39 riders, 21 the Wolves. into Williams, defended by Anderson. May Thompson, who looks to drive. Out it goes again. Drops it off inside. There's that smart, heady play. Really, really good find there from Walknet. And again, Leicester Riders' defense was good for 23 seconds there, and Worcester Wolves just found a way to crack it in the dying seconds of the shot clock. Nelson Henry looks for, to spin inside, puts it up. We have a whistle on the floor, I believe. Tough move there from Nelson Henry. There was hands coming in there from all angles. He's done really well not to lose position of the basketball. Feel there's a mismatch in size against Ray Thompson. Bad sounds. Bakovic goes out of the game, ball game. Anderson. Again, another whistle there. I'm not sure who that's on. Called on Jordan Williams, battling inside with Nelson Henry. That's his first of the night. So Riders right, so again. Will attempt to inbound it, end line. Good, great ball movement there, riders. Neymar attacks the middle, flips it up, off the glass. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful move. Neymar, right, he's in such control right now and in a good flow. He turned down the first shot as well. Unselfish play from him. It was good movement, but the Worcester Bulls defense was equal to it, and then Neymar right, giving the ball at top of the key, knocks it down. Hughes. Wow. From deep. Wow, we've seen what he can do two weeks ago in this building. Deep three from him there. In the corner, Jamel to reply, and does the Anderson spot in the corner. Well, it's like he's invisible, wearing an invisible cape over there, because no one ever sees him. But luckily, Kyron Cartwright did. And he found an open teammate in. Jamel Anderson knocks down the three. Here we go. Here we go. It's the shootout. Three ball. Hughes getting hot now. Cartwright. Stops. Nice move. Knocks it down. Hot moves here. Both teams putting points on the board now in a hurry. Scoreboard moving along. 46-29 in favour of Riders. Hughes. Good 
defence from Cartwright there. Steve Thompson across the middle. Well, continuation there. Great outstretched finish there by Rahime Thompson. Absorbed the contact, uh, contact and was able to finish the play. Coach Padasho calls a timeout. So riders have it. Selection or how, how I choose to play the game. That's a really, really good point, Mark. And, uh, you know, you sound like an ex-BBL player because a lot of the <laughs> BBL players are... Well, Cheshire did it for years, didn't they? Chester yeah. Jets, they played with Five players. six players that you know on rotations but yeah. six, that's, that's not a lot of players and but but what you do get with that is you do get that confidence you know if you make a mistake you're not going to get brought off the, yes. the court and you know it gives you that extra extra yes. confidence sometimes i think i'm old enough to remember was that chester jet sweep with five players wow henry down low kicks it out all right unable to connect on that I guess the other side of that is riders to try and keep the tempo high, the pace high, um, to, be, to begin to wear players who are playing big money, big minutes down. Good, strong move, as we say that. Good, strong finish. It's a really, really good finish there. He went high above the defenders. And good, good, soft finish off the glass. Did you, did you ever wonder or worry about the number of minutes you were playing? No, I mean, yeah, you, you do. You want, if you want to, if you want to be on court, you obviously you always want to stay on court. And, oh, in your mind as well, you, you feel like you could play for 40 minutes, and that was a difference for me playing from Plymouth to, to Leicester Riders. Plymouth, I, I played those, you know, 35 plus minutes, which is a lot for a big guy, and then you get to Riders and you don't play as much. Flips it up, Anderson, unable to connect. But what you do get, Mark, if you know you're going to play 25 minutes, well, you boy, you better make the most of those 25 minutes. And you can go to that exhaustion level to, you know, because you know you don't have to play the whole game. Yes. Good hands by Anderson. Nearly taken away. Main to Wolves ball. What's the Wolves finding a little niche in this game now where this is the first point in the game where I felt like the Worcester Wolves have got the better hand. They're creeping back into this. They've got the deficit down to 12 now. I guess a strategy like, like most teams on the road, I would imagine, is let's keep it close, guys. Yeah. See where we are with, what, three or four minutes to go. And if we, we're still in it, there's our chance. The door's been left open. For sure. Um, especially if you're short-handed. That's all you're trying to do. Give yourself an opportunity to win the game in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Play smart. Keep our foul trouble. Nice cut. Nice cut. Really good play there and a good finish. I think somebody just lost their defensive assignment in responding to that. So it's a 10 point ball game. Spencer. Can't right, stops. Not quite. Big rebound. Quickly down court. Thompson. Going to Williams again, defended by Nelson Henry. Backs him down. Good, good defensive battle down there, low. From the three-point line, Hughes again with the three ball. Cuts it to a seven-point difference. Wow, Hughes is on fire. So we get the six. 10, 6, 11, you know, Nelson Henry as well. So I would, I would challenge my, my bigs to step up and, and stop them. Um, just because you've got players on the floor, Hughes, you know, um, even Rah Raheem May Thompson, uh, Cortez Edwards, you cannot leave open because they'll, they'll, they'll knock on the three if you double in. Carrice stops, knocks it in for two. So it was a big play that one, Mark. That first offense out after the timeout. Always a big play for, for momentum games. And right, yes. Big score there. She's a strange mistress, momentum, I always think. <laughs> Difficult to actually define what it is, but you, you kind of recognize it when it's there. Sweet move again. Everything seems under control. Nice tap. Andy Thompson. Cartwright in the corner. Spencer looks to attract. Anderson left alone. Doesn't quite get the friendly roll. So seven-point ball game, just 
two minutes left in the first half. Well, Worcester, I'm sorry, Leicester Royal has led by as many as 18. I think we know basketball game of runs. Not that time. <laughs> wow. Well, encouraging. I think everyone in the building was glad that one didn't go down because if it did. Car right, tax the middle, gets the whistle, gets a call on. Uh, Van Sowers. I thought it was. I thought it was Mark Hughes for a minute. Excuse me. Largest lead of the game was 21. So it was after a three-point shot made by Neymar and Wright, led by 21 points. Which is very early. Very early in the game. Puts through the middle. Handed off to Hughes. And no bucket. Offensive foul called. Great defensive stand by Corey Johnson. Well, Van Soares was pushing the ball there and pushed just that step further and knocked down the defender. Jordan Williams' dunk is going to get waved off. How brave do you have to be to take out that, that kind of uh, <laughs> that charge when a big guy like Corey Johnson is... Steaming down in front of you. Yeah, they can, they can, uh, they can sting. <laughs> <laughs> Cartwright rearrangement. Wow. Difficult shot. Mid air, having to adjust that. He wanted to pass the basketball. As soon as he jumped off the floor, there, you can tell he wanted to pass the ball, but didn't quite have any options. Another effort, offensive foul. Quick back-to-back -back fouls called on by Sowers. Yeah, but Sowers uh, making a couple of um, undisciplined decisions there. Obviously, they're picking up that charge and then again off the ball fouls. Uh, both turnovers for his team, so he's going to have to find a way here to incorporate himself back into the game. Three fouls for him personal. Four fouls for him personal, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, so riders by... Nine. Just a minute, just over a minute to go in the first half. Cartwright off a screen. Stops again. Not quite get the record. Great rebound. Really good rebound from Jamel Anderson. Strong. Up early. Cartwright. That's a mismatch. Katenga, I think. Fair to say that was a foul. Wow. That quick, quick dribble from Kyron Cartwright. He didn't think, I didn't think he was going to dribble. It looked like he was going to pick up the basketball and then went from first to fifth gear in <laughs> seconds. And I, I like to see point guards attacking their pain, being yeah. very aggressive, yeah. putting lots of pressure on the defense to react. Because point guards essentially they are the best passers on the court, so if they're not scoring the basketball, they're, they're going to get their teammate open. I think there's no doubt Kyron Cartwright, excellent pass through the ball, see the floor really well. Right. Johnson goes to the bench. Name on right returns for the last 49 seconds. First half. Edwards handles defended by Spencer. Nearly knocks away. Edwards steps back, not this time, gets up high. Tough shot from Edwards, almost went in. Riley's look holding virtually for the last play. And jumps in with a high screen. Out he goes, Spencer wide open, not quite. Great hustle and effort. Initially by Andy Thompson, but put in by Jim L. Anderson. And that's the end of an exciting first 15 um, for the riders Chiron Cartwright with 13. And we've just tipped off, start the second half. Riders with the first possession. Going to Chuckle again, looking inside. Nelson Hamlin not able to, perhaps caught it a little bit too deep under the bucket. Williams in the corner. Hughes. Jordan Williams played 
every minute of that first half. Do you think he'll tire as we go on? Wow, good contest there as well. Jesse Chuk, whose hands are everywhere today. Again, looking Henry inside. In the corner. Good ball movement. Again, they're looking inside for Nelson Henry. Well, they're looking to get Nelson Henry established early inside. I thought the play, the first play of the half was a, was a smart play. Just They just weren't quite able to execute it, but trying to get the ball into the big man to get some points on the board early for this Warriors team. Henry again. Looks to back his man down. Loses his footing, throws it away. Wolves have it. Edwards pushes the ball. Round it goes. Makovic wide open. Knocks a three ball down. A walk next. Again. Open on that corner three and knocks it down. Punishes the riders. He's got 12 points now on the board. Carlyle sees the clock. Steps back. Not able to connect on that. Big rebound. Jesse Chuku underneath. Nice underneath bucket there for Jesse for two. Well, Jesse Chuku, you want to see him do lots of that. I mean, he's someone who, you know, he likes that, he likes that shot outside, but he's such a big body. He's a strong presence. You really want him to establish himself down low. And with the rejection. That's what he can do. Great rejection there. I think he's the one rider that really protects the rim on defense. Good again, strong attacking move at the bucket. Kyron Cartwright will be going to the line, shooting two. No, I think you're right, Mark. He is that's someone who really protects the rim. And I think he likes to block shots as well. It's, it's, it's a, an enjoyable action for him. So he, he hunts down the shots there and, and protects his, his rim with such aggression as well, which is good to see. Again, it's one of those aspects that, that can fire up the team and the crowd. A great, a great rejection at the rim really gets the juices flowing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And Leicester Riders as well, you know, it's a defensive philosophy here. It's defense work first. And, you know, they've proven that that, that model wins championships. Can't write good for the line for two. Williams. I lost the handle on that occasion. Picked up by Williams. Looks to attack the middle. In the corner. Leaves it short. Card right. Nice spin. Spin cycle. Very, very, very Knocks tough move. Well, he looks like he's out of control, but he's not. You know, that control pull-up jump shot. Seems to be latterly looking more more often for his shot than when he first arrived, I think. Good hands, Jeffy Chuku. Williams stuck with it, did well. Persistence was good there from Jordan Williams. Jordan, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Delson Henry unlucky not to come up with that ball after diving on the floor Chuku. Nelson Henry Cartwright off the screen throws it away intercepted Mark Hughes attacks Wilder's wow. called against Jesse Chuku. great retaliation transition offense there from Worcester Wolves they were they were out for the horses and Hughes was ahead of the pack. Great finish from him. Jesse's third foul. Looked a little harsh. <laughs> now I've got my rider's glasses on. <laughs> well, he didn't want to contest that shot. Yeah, tried to withdraw, didn't he? Kind of step back. Oh, both teams going blow for blow here in 10 point game. Okay. Worcester cutting in ever so slightly to that original 12 point deficit that they had at half time. I guess because they, they, they won here two weeks ago, they all have great confidence that if they, they do hang around. I think so. Hughes, ball goes round. Three the corner. The three ball is good and fouled in the act of shooting. So, pulls the arrow. Big, 
Four possible four point, point play Blake. here. Third one tonight, I think. Yeah. Two for the riders, first one for the Wolves, I believe. It makes this it'll be a six point ball game, still plenty of time left in this ball game. And is good. So into the ball game is Jordan Spencer. Johnson looks to reply, left it a little short, tries to run round his missed shot. Edwards. Bankovic kicks out. May Thompson from D. Not quite. Ball is loose. Good defense. Deal there from Jordan Spencer. Good anticipation there. Getting in the lane well. Bankovic lays it in for two. Forces coach Pat and Astro to call a timeout. Two back to back big plays by Bankovic. Wow. What? In a team sport is if they look as though they've got time mm -hmm. um, in some ways. And that's, that's what I see. I think he's a, he's a good European pickup yes. for, for the Wolves. Yeah, I agree. And these Wolf players as well, they're, they're picking up the pieces for their undermanned squad. And that's something you have to respect. Absolutely. So, Andy Thompson. Spencer off the screen. To attack the middle, chops it off. Johnson in the corner with his triple. Corey Johnson, he's been hot from outside today, and he continues to his onslaught off the bench. So out of, out of the timeout, would that be in a scripted play? Do you think, um, Anthony? Yes, <laughs> for sure. Uh, Coach Panas has called a timeout specifically for that to run a play and get a good shot at the basket. Edwards from deep, he replies. So going punch for punch at the moment. Oh, this is what you don't want if you're a Leicester Riders defender. Is Cortez Edwards joining the party and hitting threes. Thompson hands off. Johnson again with a three ball. One bounce, doesn't get the friendly roll. That was a tough shot there from Corey Johnson. Used that screen there to shield a shot, but it was still a difficult shot. So four point ball game riders have it, 62-58. Edwards. Off the screen, Hughes comes to the top of the key. Look down low again. Off the foot of Jamel Anderson, so remain a Wolves ball. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Lobbed into Jamal Williams. Around it goes. Turned over. Turn over there. Turn over. Good, good pressure from the riders. Yeah. Mark Hughes not paying attention. Oh, well, now Coach Mark Newby wants a timeout. Okay. Think he's been strategy, or perhaps just to give his team a blow. Turning out your legs in some respect. So For sure. Most teams on the road perhaps start a little slow. Okay, back to the ball game. Cartwright back into it. Nice crossover attacks again. Goal 10 called. Two points are good. Yes. Edwards handles for the Wolves. He looks to attack the middle, throws it up. I and a strong wow. play. Basket is good. And he'll be at the line for the extra bonus point. Cortez Edwards now finding a little bit of energy in this game. Misses the three points. So remains 64-60 in favour of the riders. 
Spencer handles. Picked off by the Wolves, good hands by Edwards. Drops it off to Thompson who lays it in. Another two, turnover. Two point ball game. Another turnover there from Riders. And it's not a good place or not a good area to turn the ball over, obviously. Uh, top of the key. And again, that pass top of the key. Possibly inviting the invitation, playing the lanes. Good defense from Cartwright on that occasion. Good stand there. Raheem May Thompson sort of caught into two minds whether to pass that ball or take a shot. Spencer. Johnson along the baseline looks for the reverse. No good. Coach Norby. Newby asked the team to slow down a little. Two point ball game. Turnover. Drops. Good drop off by Jordan Spencer for Andy Thompson who gets fouled in the active attacking basket. So will be the line shooting a couple. Yeah, unselfish play there from Jordan Spencer. Good with the first. Two out of two for Thompson. Chuku goes to the bench. Anderson returns. So we have a tight ball game. Markovic hands off Edwards, top of the key. Off the screen, we have a whistle, bit of a wrestling match. Foul called against Andy Thompson. We've got a little six and one and a half a dozen on another one at the top of the key. <laughs> bit of a wrestling match going off. Fourth team fouls now for the Leicester Riders, so they'll be in the penalty on the next foul. Right. Edwards again off the screen. How it goes. Williams lining one up from deep. I don't think that was the shot that Coach the Wolves necessarily wanted, but yeah. didn't have too many options there on that last offense. I guess Ryder's happy for him to, to take that. Andy Thompson, mismatch size-wise, goes outside again. Cartwright spins in the middle. Nice move again. He's done a really good job of that, hasn't he, today? Yeah. Getting inside the key, spinning away from the fender, and then finishing with that control jump shot. Anderson defends with Thompson. Williams again. Edwards looks to drive in the middle. Great defensive spot. Corey Johnson. Great effort. Good hands. Anticipation. Very good defense there from Corey Johnson. He's longer as well. Smart than, play. Then Cortez Edwards. So he's got that advantage on him defensively and very, very clever. Quick feet and clever play. Anderson. Neymon right. Feel it like Neymon needs to try and get some offense going for himself. Anderson in his favorite spot, not this time. Wolves feel like they're just slowing it down as we head towards the sharp end of this third quarter. Look down low. We've seen Borknet get hot in today's game as well. Looked like he was going to shoot that three-point shot. Yep. Nelson Hamm returns. Williams. Edwards. Looks low. Straight into the post. This matchup, great anticipation. <laughs> Anderson in the lane, just unable to ha hang on to the ball. Sometimes that ball comes at you a little quicker than you anticipated. <laughs> What's the occasion there for Jamal Anderson? 
Two seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, do Wolves see it? Do Wolves see it? How did it go? Spamnet steps underneath. So good defensive stand there by the riders. 24 second shot clock violation. Now have possession. 38 seconds left in the third. 68 62. Can't write. Change of pace. Nicely lays it in. That change of pace. Wow. Going through the gears very quickly. He looks unstoppable tonight. 23 points for him personal. Leading all scorers. Virtually a layup there. Offensive foul called. Called against Jordan Williams. That's his third. So Riders should have the last possession of this third quarter. Going to run the clock down. The last 10 seconds. Cartwright. Henry comes to set the pick. Top of the key. Cartwright. Looks to spin again. Puts it up. Just leaves it a little short. And that's the... Gaming on any court in this league. I guess Coach Norby probably likes where his team's at just at the moment. I think so. You've got to be happy with this. You know, you're out with your, your former GB international. You're out with your, your your star American import player, and you're competing with the Leicester Riders in their arena as well. So you've got to be, you know, you've got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. Left alone with the three ball. Not quite able to knock it down that time. Jordan Spencer. Hand in the cookie jar, as you say, gets called. Looking for the steal. Well, walk neck didn't miss by far there. That could have been it was close. Very easily close. rolled the other way there and a little bit softer and dropped down. But Jordan Williams, great intent there on the offensive rebound. Hughes. Edwards, round it goes. Walk neck. May Thompson. Not quite able to not connect. Well, Raheem Maytumna hasn't really been able to get the outside shot going today. He's been active, he's been effective inside, but the outside shot hasn't quite worked for him tonight. Name on right. See if he can get firing a little bit on offense this fourth quarter. Feel like we need a bit more for the team in this second half. Flipped up, nice, smooth, one-handed floater. Jordan Spencer. Well, Jordan Spencer's done really well there. The shot clock was winding down. The screen kind of got more in his way than, than helped him out there, but he did a really good job to keep the dribble alive there and convert the play. Down low. Jordan Williams again in the post. Flips it up. Doesn't get the roll that time. Nelson out. Henry did a good job to make Jordan Williams shoot with his right hand there. Quick release. Quick instant offense there. One, two passes. Hit the open player not that three ball down well that's what happens in basketball sometimes the ball rolls in and out on the one, one end, end of the next end of knockdown three walk it to reply and he does walk net big shot after big shot keeps his team in the game and gives them yet another lifeline his calmness personified i think walk net. good technique which always helps name on Dribbling the top of the key, asks for the screen, gets a switch, kicks it out. Shot clock is deep, has to be put it up, just a little short. Straight in there for the Worcester Wolves. Shot clock winding down. <laughs> Jordan Spencer falling or fading out of bounds with a with a floater jump shot, and Jordan Williams just happened to catch the ball out of bounds <laughs> on the rebound. Lobbed into Anderson. Looks to attack the middle, and we have a whistle called against May Thompson. That's his third. So a ten-point ball game. Johnson from the corner, not quite. Always lose great rebound, Anderson. Anderson had a few of those re offensive rebounds where he skied up above. To grab it, good hands from him there. Spencer stops and go, loses the handle. Bognet against Euro steps and doesn't get the roll, but gets the foul. Bognet, cool. a very, very good second half here, leading 
The Worcester Wolves in scoring 21 points. Guess is the captain for a reason. Well, he's def certainly leading by example. Absolutely. So Cartwright Chiron's had a bit of a blow. So I guess he's on court 733. Coach Panos will be help, hoping he can um, carry the team the rest of the way. Well, he's leading all scorers. He's got 23 points right now. 10 for 16 shooting. Hasn't, good. hasn't hit a three-point shot tonight either. Kyron Cartwright. So he's doing a lot of his work there inside, the, yeah. inside the key yeah. or inside the three-point line. Excuse me. I think his strength is attacking the paint, going strong. Name on right. Crosses over. Tanks of glass. We have a whistle. Well, Neymar writes them really well there to, to get to the free throw line because the shot clock was winding down with very little other options. Foul called against Bork Met. That's his third foul. So we'll keep an eye on that. So Neymar to the line, shooting two. Is good with the first. Good with the second. So back to a 10 point ball game. Still plenty of le time left in this one. Just over seven minutes. The Wolves supporters getting behind their team. Edwards, Euro steps underneath. Wow. Nice move for two. Well, what I like about Corey Johnson is why well, he doesn't give up on the play. If this man beats him, he'll chase the offensive player all the way to the basket. Iron car rights. Game on. Quick release. Yes! Three ball. Name on right. Someone who's had a really, really good half first half, and that was a big shot. Yes. The riders have it by 11. Edwards. Probing away. He steps back to reply, and he does with the three ball. Goodness me. The degree of difficulty for that step back shot. It's high up there, it's contested, and wow, big, big play. Gyron. Again, it goes strong inside. Nelson Henry just tips it in for the two. Good again. Even on that occasion, Mark, Corwin Carter is attacking the rim. Absolutely. He didn't get the conversion himself, but his teammate gets the easy tip in there because he's got the defender to commit. Good ball movement from the Wolves. And there you go. May Thompson finally nails a three ball. Well, he struggled tonight, but that was a big, big, big shot. shot. Absolutely. But preceded by some really nice ball movement around the top of the key, hitting the open man. Car right again. Flips it up high. Into the paint. <laughs> Sweet move. Kyra and Kyra is just instant offense for him. 25 points personal. We have a foul. Called against Corey Johnson. Goes to the bench. He's on four fouls. Certainly contributed significantly in the offensive. Well, both sides of the ball. He's had a couple of blocks as well. So Chuku back into the ball game. Provides a little more protection for the rim. Williams. Edwards. Switch on the defense. Looks inside. Williams. Deep. There you go. Just called it. Jesse Chuku. Always looking to defend the rim. Strong. Athletic. Kyron. All right. Getting deep into the paint, putting pressure on that defense. Incredible back-to-back -back play. I feel pumped. <laughs> very, very exciting basketball. Very exciting basketball. So the defense gets began to ring out around the arena as Wolves bring it up. Big Edwards. offense here. Big offense here. Absolutely. 
big two minutes. <laughs> okay, it looks low. Go to Williams in the block. We've had a lot of success in that point. He throws it back out with the three ball. Not quite able to make that. Big rebound, Neymar. Right. Good box out there from Jesse Chuku. Cartwright slows the play down. Let's take his time, guys. We don't need anything quick. we a bit of clock. Again, attacks the middle. Probes away. In the corner, we have a whistle. Not quite sure who that's on. Suspect it's on. Yeah, on. Raheem May Thompson? Yep. That's his fourth foul. He gets battling the paint, I think. Well, both teams on three fouls for the team foul count. Right, let's get a, an extra 14 seconds. So again, he has been in no great rush to get something quick. Just getting the floor wiped, the rider's end. Boy, does a great job. Rock balls in, Chuku down low. Nelson Henry looks to spin, flips it up, just leaves it a little short. Edwards handles. Balkic. There he goes, there's that guy with the three ball. Walknet, another big three point play. Come as you like. Incredible shooting from him tonight. Cartwright. May Thompson does intercept it, comes up with a steal. We have a whistle. I think it's against Jamal Anderson, ref suggesting that he exaggerated and suggests he may have flopped on that particular play. Well, previously brought net, now 26 points. He's 5 for 6 from the three-point line. I think he'd been called a technical foul for that as well. So again, clearly felt Anderson made more of that bit of Hollywood acting and gets penalised. Gets it. It's good with the technical free throw. And it will be Wolves' possession sideline. So back to back to seven. This ball game still plenty of time to go. 3:23. Riders fans begin to raise the noise. Get behind their team on defence. Edwards looking to inbound. Gets it into Williams. Probes away, he looks to spin and attacks. Flips it up, leaves it short though. Pulled in by Andy Thompson, quickly gets fouled. Well, Cortez was looking for the pass there, and he left the floor, and his teammates weren't available, so he had to flip that up last yeah. minute. But both teams on four team fouls now. Carl Wright handles the ball. Anderson. Anderson has it again. Bit static. Nice move by Thompson. Good defense by the Wolves. Responded well. Good block there. Very good block. One second on the shot clock. It's going to be a quick catch and shot. Sean, who's your money on? Catch and release here. Who's your money on? They're going to try and get this one to a big inside for a yeah. quick catch and, catch and shoot. Andy Thompson in the corner. Good shot, Not though. quite, not quite. Great tip from Chuck, who I think got his hands on that. Really good. Again, around that rim. Neymon. Top of the key. Jesse Chuku from deep. Not quite able to connect. The ball still... Have it, 2.26. Hughes. Bounces one from the long line and nails that three ball. Massive shot there from Hughes. He was given a little bit too much room there. Andrew Thompson, I think, was a bit cautious of 
and slowing by him for the first step. You've got to, I guess, shush who's behind you on defence to offer you that protection, I guess. So you need to get your hand up, get him to get in the shooter's face. Can't ride. Tapped by Big again, top. Tapped by Andy Thompson. Can't ride. Four point ball game. 150 left and Bug Chuku quickly attacks, flicks it up. Andy Thompson again around the basket, working hard, pops it back in for two. Clever play there from Andy Thompson. He anticipated that rebound and he was the first to react. Good putback from him. Ball net again from deep, nails another one. That is unbelievable. What net has been an absolute assassin from that corner. Well, that, that corner three there. Defensive. Overtime. Oh, it could, it could, it could go there. Close. Good strong move again, attacking the paint. Kyron Court, Cartwright gets fouled. Jordan Williams, which is his fourth foul. So Kyron going to the line, shooting two. Big free throws in the context of this game. Only up by three, 119 on the shot clock. Interesting move at this time of the game. Returning Johnson, but Jesse Chucky going out. Thoughts? Well, Johnson's that he's that three-point shooter, isn't he? You've got Andrew Thompson already inside there to you know hopefully be able to man the rebounding and control the boards, but I think Johnson just gives you that added extra there from beyond the perimeter, especially. Chuku's had to shoot a couple contested threes here with yeah. shot clocks winding down. One out of two. Kyron. Four point ball game. Temperature rising. Who's going to win this ball game? Edwards probes away. Hughes. Defended much closely. Attacks the middle. Flips it up and in for two. Wow. Good strong play. Riders Incredible look, play. Riders looking for that big, possibly one more stop. Unable to find it at the moment. Soon be 50 seconds left in this ball game. 89-87. One shot game. Cartwright does what he's been doing all night. Not able to connect on this at this moment in time. Faulkner is wide open. Misses everything. Was wide open. I would have put money on him in making that shot. It was a rough shot there from him, wasn't it? So Cartwright says, let's take the time, guys. Let's run some clock. It's only a one-shot game. Let's get a good shot. Calls for the screen. Again, into the middle. We have a whistle. Team fouls now, so that'll take him to the free throw line. So, 16, 16 seconds left in regulation. Riders by two. Cartwright shooting two. Ideally, does two seal the game? One leaves the door open? Yeah, I, I still think there's time. There's 16, 16 seconds left here, and there's one. There's one. Crossing my fingers right now, makes two. <laughs> yeah. But even with that, as it stands, it's... Well, New, Coach Newby's already kind of called a timeout. So, Ryan is now have it by four. 16 seconds just over, left in regulation. Watch Coach Newby. It's two-shot possession game. Regulation. It's a sideline ball. Edwards to inbound. Who's your money on? And I'm going with Hughes, I think. Okay. Bucknett gets it. He's looking inside. Hughes steps back with a three. Not quite able to knock it down. We have a whistle. Well, good offensive Be rebound there from Jordan Williams. And I think this works out in Ryder's favour because yeah. that ball was going right back to Hughes. And I don't think he's missing that shot again. So he puts it online. Two free throws. I guess it could be a lot of noise and as he strolls to the free throw line, but Riders then get the possession. So Corey Johnson fouls out. Excellent game tonight from him. So Williams work the line. Feel like he feel like he's gonna make them both. 
make both look to steal the inbound play? Yeah, I think so. Or you could you could make the first one and then hope you can get an offensive rebound. It's It's been done. Yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> Intentionally or not. <laughs> He needs to be, the first one's inevitable, you know, you, the yes. first one you need to make, make that it, one. And yeah. Then you've got all rounds of possibility to... So the noise goes up. Williams' shot goes up. There you go. Just makes that a little harder to yeah, win from this point. For sure. He's played big minutes tonight, Jordan Williams. I wonder whether tiredness begins to creep in. Misses them both. Riders have the ball. Anderson... Big two misses at the end. Jordan Williams has played excellently for the Wolves tonight, but you just wonder the amount and load he's had to carry, whether that plays into that that final free throw attempts. For sure. I mean, Jordan Williams has, has had a good game, and he's a 61.5% free throw shooter. So, so, well, you'd want him to split. You'd want him at least to split a pair there. And Jamal Anderson now... Uh, <laughs> Can't quite put this game out of reach, and we still get stuck on that four point stalemate. He misses both of them. Wolves quickly down count in the corner, and that's the ball game. So that's the ball game, and what an exciting ball game we've been entertained with here at the Moyside Arena. So the Riders take that one 91 to 87. Enjoy that one.